having an awesome day. Today I wanted to take you through my ritual routine, which is basically just a routine with a few different rituals that I like to do. The rituals in this routine help me clear my head, clarify my intentions, and manifest a new exciting chapter in my life. And also a lot of fun. So let's jump right in. The first thing I like to do to set the mood is prepare a heartwarming beverage. Today I'm making a cacao rose elixir with cinnamon, vanilla, coconut oil, and a little maple syrup. I like to use this frother to mix all the ingredients together. Having a warm drink to sip on throughout the rest of my rituals makes the evening that much more of a special event. Next, I will set up some vibey lighting and candles. I like to make my space very zen and just give it some really relaxing ambiance. The next thing I like to do is clear my phone. I do this phone clearing routine every night. Basically, I just go through each app on my phone and delete anything I no longer need, whether that's random screenshots or old voice messages. I also use this time to catch up on my friends' Instagram stories and respond to any unanswered texts. Once I'm done with this process, I feel like I can close the door to the external world and proceed with the rest of my rituals without worrying about any nagging notifications or digital distractions. Next, I like to light some sage and purify my space. After that, I like to write in my journal. I use this time to unpack my mind, discuss recent experiences, process my thoughts and feelings about them, and set new goals and intentions going forward. Then I'll read through my entry and highlight sentences that can serve as the foundation for the affirmations I'm going to write later on. Once I'm done journaling, I'll do a quick five minute meditation. It helps me clear my energy after thinking about so many different topics and doing so much processing. When I meditate, I often just set a timer and listen to some 432 hertz music. My meditation always leaves me feeling so much more calm, clear, and grounded. After my meditation, I like to pick out a few crystals to set up for my affirmation and prayer rituals. Looking at them just makes me happy. Next, I'll bring out my affirmation journal and my prayer journal. In my affirmation journal, I like to write down the new affirmations I just created based on my journaling session. While I'll ultimately write these affirmations down in my phone's notes app, I like to start by writing them down by hand. I also like to include dates on these entries so I can look back and see how long it took for old affirmations to manifest. Next, I'll write down some prayers for myself and my loved ones. It feels good to give my goals, hopes, dreams, and concerns over to God. If I have any emotional resistance to any of my new intentions or goals, I like to do some EFT tapping on them. I'm going to film a full video on tapping, but basically it's just a way to clear out old, stuck emotional blocks and limiting beliefs. After all of that emotional work, I like to chill out for a little and do something creative. Tonight, I decided to bring out my painting supplies and paint a canvas. I'm by no means a talented visual artist, but I always find the painting is so relaxing. It allows me to stimulate the right side of my brain after doing so many other left-brained activities. Okay guys, thought it'd be fun to show you guys some of the paintings I've done in the past. I am not an artiste, so don't judge me. I just do these for fun. This is probably one of my favorite little paintings I've done. It's kind of like a little aura painting. Another one that I'm actually pretty proud of is this one. It's kind of like somebody's taking in lots of good information, lots of love, and through that they're able to manifest more love from their heart. Then I have this really trippy tree. I did this one freshman year of college. I was missing my boyfriend so much over winter break. I was like, you need to go get a hobby. So I did a lot of painting. The last step of my ritual routine is taking a Zen bath. I like to set my bath up with some Epsom salts, a candle, and some chill lo-fi music. Relaxing in the bath always washes away the day for me and leaves me feeling calm, clear, and relaxed. So that was my entire ritual routine. After having one of these evenings, I usually record my affirmations the next morning. If you want to check out that process, I'll link the video above. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. I hope that you all blossom into your best selves, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!